Emily and welcome back to Waverly Roo. Today we are going to be doing a double wrap up for the month of August. This month I read six books. I read three. I have some opinions that may stir the world. So to start off the month I read the last three books in the Darren Chan saga. I can't say what these books are about because it is the ending to a series. But very pretty. They are very pretty. The first one is Lake of Souls. This one got 4.2 stars out of 5. The second one is Lord of the Shadows. This one got 4.3 stars out of 5. And the third slash last book got 4.2 stars out of 5. The first book I read this month was The Leaving by Tara Alta Brando. Wow. Some kids that get taken and one doesn't come back. I also read this book at the exact same time. I gave it a 3.1 stars out of 5. However, I will say that the cover of this book is so much. There were parts in it I did enjoy, but there were parts in it that I really hated. I really thought that it could have been written a lot better. It sucked. It sucked. We read this in the book club that we started the page turners. I will leave the Facebook page down below if you want to check out what we're reading and when we're reading it. The next book I read was A Study in Scarlet. Study in Glare, I'm gonna be sick. I saw Arthur Conan Doyle. I really enjoyed it and then it got to like the middle bit and I didn't enjoy the middle bit because it wasn't about Sherlock. It was about the killer's background and it was written good and I would have enjoyed it if I had picked up the book to know about Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Everybody knows what it's about. It's about a mystery where someone dies. If you haven't read the book, you've watched the TV show. Mm. The next book I read this month was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander, basically J.K. Rowling. This is basically a textbook from the Harry Potter series about the Fantastic Beasts. It just tells you what they are and how dangerous they can be. And it's basically the A to Z of the beast mentioned and not mentioned in Harry Potter. I gave this a 4 stars out of 5, though I wouldn't rate it that because I had to take off so much of the rating because character development isn't needed, storyline isn't needed, it's literally a textbook. But I enjoyed it and it, I wish all textbooks were written this way. But Third and the last book that I read was, uh, it's a name I can't pronounce, The Vast Prediction of Brian. I liked Brian. it, I liked it a lot. I gave it a 4 star. It's about a dude who doesn't want to be a slave to money. So he purposely goes poor. He is a very annoying man. I'm not going to lie. And the last book that I read this month was The Bottom of Stars by John Green. This is a reread for me. I read this four years ago. I loved it and I cried. This time around I didn't love it as much. I'm going to say it doesn't do much in it really. I didn't cry this time around or anything. I didn't enjoy it as much. This time around it got a 4.1 stars out of 5 and like Lisa said that probably was because of the nostalgia. I did love it, just not as much. These are the books that I read. These are the books that I read. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up. Now if you want to see Lisa in more future videos, subscribe if you haven't already because I make videos every 45 days. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, my name is Lavery and now I'm off to read, bye!